that is Woody here and welcome to the very first episode of my FM23 main save with Oldham, appropriately named Oldham to Ohm, where I'm planning on taking Oldham Athletic from the Vanarama National League all the way back to the Premier League, where they were one of the founding members, and, you know, maybe turn them into the greatest team in Greater Manchester. We'll see about that one, hey? Uh, anyway, guys, so if you are liking Football Manager content and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, if you could, would mean a lot to me. I really do appreciate every single person who does subscribe. Uh, smash that like button and let me know down in the comments, what are you doing for your main save? Because I would like to know what other people are doing. And don't forget, every comment, I will reply to them as well. So, uh, yeah, looks good. Anyway, the first episode here is probably just going to be a little bit of a poke around at the club. I've literally just loaded this up. I have absolutely no idea what Oldham looks like. Uh, at all finances wise i didn't even have a look in the uh, in the beta as well actually so i have no idea at this point so here we are there 40 year old yep that's me uh one year deal worth one ca uh one thousand pounds per week and i replaced david unsworth let's click next here we are reputation is five stars the media prediction is fifth our fierce rivals are rochdale and uh yeah it's Oh, we've got zero transfer budget and our wage budget is 29 and our finances are insecure. I did think that our finances could be a problem. I know Oldham have had uh, a few financial issues lately, so I don't know what sort of debt that's going to look like. Could be a couple of million, I think. So uh, here is our best team with the, uh, <laughs> the flat back seven. Love the flat back seven. Uh, interesting and not don't know too many of these players, but we will we will definitely get to know them over the next couple of uh, weeks. Sign players on the edge of 23. Good, because I'm kind of planning to do that anyway. Work within the wage budget. Grow the, club, grow the club's rep. One-year contracts for players over 33. They want me to reach the playoffs, reach the FA Cup proper, and be competitive in the FA Trophy. Playoffs, hey, that's going to be... That's a bit tricky, because I don't... I mean, in real life, although I'm not doing very well, they're sort of in a bit of a uh, relegation scrap at the moment, so uh, that could be tough. Uh, yep, happy with that. Yep, we'll do all that. Cool. We're not going to do an inter-squad friendly, and the backroom thing can be fortnightly. Monthly could be good as well. We should probably save this as well. Save it to the cloud. Let's do that. All right, so Amelia, press officer... Uh, you know, here's all the, the shenanigans we just saw before. We've got someone's contract about to expire. Harry Vaughan looks to be pretty good. And our financial position is not strong enough. But he does have a one-year extension. Uh, we'll have a look at... I am, I've am. i changed the skin. This is Zealand skin. I was using work the spaces skin. I'll flick it up to this one. Um, just, I'll probably change it through. You can get this from FM, FM Scout. And uh, I'll go from there. Um, so his attributes... Uh, I'm not sure if I changed those numbers. Anyway, I'll, I'll sort this stuff up. He doesn't look too bad. Potential five stars. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked there. Not tactics. We'll do that. Here's the, the, the supporters. 40% um, hardcore, 38 core, family, fair weather, 1% corporate, and 15% casual. So they want the playoffs. Attacking football. Develop players using the club's youth system. Mm, be competitive against Rochdale if we happen to play them. There's a club vision. We know all about that. We're going to accept that and... Here is the injury table. Right, let's go and have a look at a couple of things before we get going. Um, let's have a look at the development center while we're here. We'll work our way down. We've got two players here who are okay. Vanny da Silva, he is a Portuguese striker. Um, okay, looks okay, but you know, we'll see how it goes. And Will Sutton is a 19 year old center back. Um, very low determination though, which is, is not great, but uh, you know. We'll see how these young kids go. Anyway, finances, this is the big one. We've got just under 500k in the bank. We are almost at our wage budget as well, which is um, not great. We've got probably about a K to spend. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But let's have a look at the uh, debts and loans. There it is, four and a half million in debt. That's the chairperson loan is the majority of that. Some bank miscellaneous and state loans. So... That is quite a big chunk to get out of there. And if we have a look at the projection, uh, by the end of the season, we will be £1.25 million pounds in debt. So not very good there as well if we keep going that way. Uh, yeah, so finances are not good. Club vision, we know about that. We've been through the club info on this page here. 
Uh, stadium here, there it is, Boundary Park, 1904, 13,000, which is pretty good. It's a pretty good nick as well. Um, uh, transfers, yeah, we'll do some of those scouting competitions. We've got those competitions, the schedule. We've got some friendlies here as well. Uh, medical center training, yep, 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 all that kind of stuff. We'll go back there. Oh, we should probably check what, before we do anything, where the media think we're going to go in the season preview. Seventh. Ouch. And obviously the favorites are Wrexham, which is, oops, which is going to be really, really tricky to get past uh, Wrexham. As you can see here, they've got a lot of players in this Dream 11. Likes of Paul Mullen is a very good striker for this level, but... Seventh is, is quite tough. That is just making the playoffs. So I think I would take that first season if that could happen. Um, but we'll see. Tactics. Um, they want Route 1, part of the Vassal Fluid counterattack. Jesus. And they want me to play attacking football. Wow. That's going to be an interesting one. I don't know what we'll do for the tactic. I'll have to have a look at the players and see where we go there. But we will need to load up a tactic because otherwise we can't look at the squad planner. The dynamics. Um, you know, hierarchy. Does anyone like me? Oh, five players oppose you. Brilliant. Excellent. We can't look at the squad planner because I don't have a tactic load. So let's have a look at our squad here. Let's, let's just go and have a look at our reports. That'll be pretty good. So we've got some pretty good players here. Harry Vaughan, obviously. Um, Benny Cotto, Mitchell... Uh, Robins, Roberts and Charlie Wellens are on loan, so that's good. We've got a good goalkeeper in Magnus Norman here, actually, the uh, English guy, formerly of Fulham. Not too many games under his belt, but he looks pretty good for this level, which should be should be quite good. Anyone else standing out here? There is, um, where is he? Am I? Oh, Hallam Hope. Remember Hallam Hope? He's had a long career. It was Everton as well. We first started Barry as well. Um, I do do remember him. He's he's physically pretty good. Probably going to be deploying him out on those wings. Barbadian international. Um, we'll see how that goes. Anyone on any ridiculous wages here at the moment? Oscar three. Oscar three. Oscar. Which of that name? Uh, he is a right back. He's pretty good. Where is he on loan from? Bradford City. Interesting. And uh, I'm glad we're playing all these wages that he's on, on loan. Uh, John Rooney, 31-year-old midfielder, attacking midfielder. So got some players there to try and make some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of tactic with. Um, you know, we... we We'll go and load up a tactic and have a quick poke around squad planner. So I'm not going to do route one or park the bus. We'll try the fluid counter attack and we'll we'll go with that. Yeah, that one looks good. Fine, 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 fine. Right, there we are. Uh, let's just do a, a, a quick pick without restriction. The best 11. See what my assistant thinks. So there's that Magnus, that, that Magnus, Norman, Magnus Norman in goal. Jordan Clark at right back. Uh, yeah, he's he's not bad. He's 30. Hogan is the captain, Liam Hogan. He's got not bad stats as well. The other defender is Mitchell Roberts on loan from Birmingham. Mm, yeah, he's not too bad. Uh, this young kid, Benny Kutu, the Portuguese left back. He doesn't look too bad. He looks a good attacking one. Uh, three, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get his name. Threlk Eld. Threlk Eld. Oscar Threlk Eld. Uh, is a ball, well, and he's more of a right back, but I guess he can play in that midfield. Maynard, Lewis Maynard, is 33 years old. A lot of experience there, but he is out for about five months, so he's not going to play. Hallam Hope, obviously, on that right-hand side. Uh, Tollett, Ben Tollett on that left-hand side, and uh, John Rooney behind the striker there in that attacking midfielder role. And up top is Junior Luamba. Um, he looks okay. I think we could probably do with a striker. We don't. Mike Fondrup as well. That, that's really it for those two up front. So we are we are a little bit limited up front. Well, obviously, Alan Hope is an option there as well. And actually, he rates as probably one of our better strikers, uh, Alan Hope. But we may, we may need to delve into some sort of um, 
free agent market for a striker there, I think. And we'll, we'll tweak some of these. I'm not too keen on playing cautious. And, you know, we are going to go out and attack and, and see where that takes us. Uh, the old squad planner here. Yeah, so we can see those players coming in, those best ones there as we did. All right, well, guys, um, like I said, just a bit of a poke around there, uh, having a look, see what's happening at at Oldham Athletic. Doesn't look super great finances-wise. Um, I mean, we're probably going to have to roll with most of this squad this season. I can't see us getting too many more players. Um I mean, I do think we need a, a really good striker to get us on a way, whether that's on loan or we pick up someone on a free. Uh, we do have a, uh, about a thousand pounds in that budget there as well. So, uh, and we've got zero recruit team recruitment team members, which is great because I am only going to be using my scouting team to get players. So, we know players search. We want to keep it a little bit realistic there. I will just be using them, so I will need to uh, employ some of them. Uh, and once again, I will just be, uh, you know, placing adverts and see who we get. So I want to keep this as, as realistic as possible without, you know, being too stupid. And if we, uh, we get those guys in, we get those guys in. We've got a pretty good, pretty good coaching department as well, which is nice. Anyway, guys, we are going to leave it there. I'm going to go through, sort out the whole preseason and we again, the next time you see me is going to be for the Torquay United game, uh, which uh, should be a bumper one away at Torquay. And that'll be the first game of our Oldham to own save. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video. If this is something that you're looking forward to, please subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.